Tarane Hamami is an Iranian-born artist. Her work deals with her conflicting sense of belonging. I came to this country in 1978 to go to art school. Within a year, the Iranian Revolution happened. Even though um, I got my bachelor's in arts, I had to stop for a while to basically figure out where I was and what I was going to do with the rest of my life. It could be anybody, but it's also very much people of the Middle East. I think they, um, and actually even more specifically, Iranians, I think, because of the chador. A lot of my work has involved um, my identity as an Iranian. Um, a lot of questions about um, home and belonging comes into my work over and over again. I am dealing with the same issues, but I address them differently. Among Tarane's many projects is an installation she began in 2000 called Hall of Reflections. I wanted it to feel like it was actually a used piece of brick or tile that was yanked off of a wall and transported to a different place. She collected hundreds of photographs from Iranian Americans. They were incorporated into these glass and mirror tiles. Some of them are made up of smaller pieces that create a larger whole. Some have several images that are creating shadows and reflections within the reflections. The other thing that I like is that I use transparencies knowing that they will fade with time. I see that as a reflection of our fading memories. The only images of the revolution I got was from one uh, person who actually participated in the revolution. And they're the most layered, I think, and they're starting to really um, fade and become more abstract than they were initially. But you can still make out Khomeini's portrait. Most of the people who gave me their images were women. And I think women are storytellers of our community. And um, so most of these images I began with are of women, motherhood, family portraits. The first time that I showed this at San Francisco Arts Commission, the opening was incredible because there were people who had given their photographs were, were there. And you just looked around and everybody was talking about the stories behind the photographs to other people. Hall of Reflections has been exhibited in various configurations. It even traveled to the Persian Gulf for the Sharjah International Biennial in the United Arab Emirates. Part of it is installed at the Persian Center in Berkeley hopefully to become its permanent home. It's amazing that how, how much of my work deals with home and from different angles, like discovering the past through surfaces. I was looking at my pieces for Hall of Reflections and the first person that I interviewed was Mommy. She was very open about it. At the time, right after September 11th, when I was asking people for images, <laughs> it was very hard for people to trust me. And she was the first person who said, of course. She didn't even question anything. And um, we sat around that table, and she brought her albums and opened it up and went through her whole life. It was an incredible experience. Tarane is visiting the woman she calls Mommy at her Castro Valley home. Tarane is beginning a new project inspired by Hall of Reflections. Tarane and her collaborator, Mohsen Amami Nuri, are here to document this home. They're not exactly sure what they're trying to capture, but they will take hundreds of photos and record lots of stories about Mommy's life. The idea of home really began here for me. And when I was thinking about the Homes Project, this was the corner that um, inspired the whole project for me. It's so personal and it has so much life. 
the whole idea of the project I'm doing is based on like what we, we as Iranians pride ourselves in, like hospitality and open home. Yeah, yeah. And it's something you can't really do in this country. You know, like it's yeah. really difficult. The Bami is one of the few people mm -hmm. I know who has sort of carried mm -hmm. that tradition. Yeah. And don't let, uh, especially young generation, to be homesick. Uh -huh. Right. This is right. this is very important. Mm -hmm. She's mother to everybody. She was talking about her family mostly, but also her daily life. A lot of the sound that we're going to be using is it's like the images are going to be juxtaposed. And so you won't necessarily be hearing a whole conversation. It will be parts of conversation. So there will be a lot of editing. You're not shy, are you? Hi, you? I'm always shy. No. Back at her Bayview District studio in San Francisco, Tarane has begun working with the images. The resulting project will be an installation she'll show in August at the Zero One Festival in San Jose. The reason they're in threes is that each one will become, uh, in a way, hyperlink, so you can be navigating through each portion, getting deeper into the story. It's, it's almost like the layers of history of that family is revealed through the house. So the piece at Zero One is going to be um, a network of stories that you're able to navigate through. What we have here is just five or six clips of some of the images that we shot that day. In a way, a lot of my pieces are about that sense of belonging and home. Do I understand it more or less? I don't know if I'm ever going to <laughs> understand it completely. But I, um, there's a sense of satisfaction of of placing myself within the walls that I create. I don't know whether it's, uh, it helps me understand it more, but it definitely um, makes me feel like I've, um, I'm a step closer um, to that understanding or to the sense of belonging.